All right, punters and dribblers. Now, as you know, huge game of rugby league. Manly v Cronulla. We were lucky enough to get the great Mick Ennis on the line to preview the game for us. Right, Mick. Thanks for your time, mate. Now, uh, what's going to be the key to winning this one? Yeah, g'day, fellas. Look, I think this game's going to be a battle of the spines. I really do. A strong spine has become so tremendously important in the game of rugby league these days. But you know, to my mind, the spine should only include the hook of the half and the fullback. You're one, seven, and nine. A nice straight spine, all in one line. As soon as you include the five, eight, you know, it becomes a crooked spine. And who wants a fucking crooked spine? You're almost in scoliosis territory there, so oh, I'm just putting that out there. But for mine, Nico Hines is the key for the Sharks, especially in that middle 15th of the field. When Hines combines well with his back line, gets him going forward with good line speed, there's a couple of lightning fast players in the Sharkies' back line, and watch for Hines to be scheming down the blind side. He set up some great blind side plays time and time again for the Sharkies this season. So many times they've been able to find the line when Nick O'Hans goes down the blind. It's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. And let's not forget his kicking game either. It's reached new heights this season. And for mine, it's been one of the highlights of his season. Hines can put the ball on a dime when he's close to that try line. And if the Sharkies are going to be any chance of winning, they need Hines to be on fire. <laughs> no, mate, very, great point. Couldn't agree more. We are speaking to Mick Ennis ahead of the big game between Manly and the Cronulla Sharks. Home ground advantage. How big is that going to be for Manly? Oh, look, I think it's going to be a huge advantage to this Manly side playing at four points, Park, the old book, the oval. And I reckon by the time those Manly fans in the stands get their hands on a few cans of four points lager, They'll be right behind their side and making enough noise to be heard all the way back in the Shire. <laughs> you caught up with a couple of the Manly players during the week, Mick. Uh, how was that? Yeah, that's right. I was in the Manly camp on Wednesday. It was great fun, actually. Players were all very relaxed, joking around, calling each other by their nicknames. Pepsi Cola, Leap High, Hopawati, uh, Hamale, lose a kilo or two. And what about Alloy, eh? His nickname's Aluminium. Aluminium, why's that? Because it's an alloy, eh? <laughs> oh, it's clever stuff, isn't it? But on a serious note, fellas, Tommy Turbo, as we all know, he's had scans. Those scans have revealed it's not as bad as first thought, but Manly is certainly going to miss him working and scheming behind the ruck, especially in that middle 15th of the field, and chiming into the back line with that lightning turn of speed we know he possesses. And you have to think the Seagulls' preparation might be in some disarray. But they've got shitloads of speed out wide, Manly, with the likes of Pepsi and Leap High. And Ruben Garrick, hasn't he been a meter-reader for the Sea Eagles this season? Especially coming away from their own try line, he hits the old nitrous oxide, and time after time he finds a gap to put Manly on the attack. He's going to be key for the Sea Eagles. Uh, OK, Mick. Well, look, thanks for your time, mate. Much appreciated. Now, before we let you go, obviously we're massive Manly fans. You are a Sharkies Premiership winner. Uh, final thoughts on the game? Yeah, well, for starters, I think you blokes can go and get fucked. And uh, as far as the Manly fans are concerned, they can all go and get fucked too. <laughs> See you later.